Well, hello, how are you again? We're back with my buddy, the snowblower. You know, I forgot to mention, I've never owned a snowblower, so I'm kind of curious about my snowblower. I mean, how it works. We all know how it works. It shoots the snow out this thing and it removes it from your driveway, right? There's an auger in the front and an auger in the middle, but it got me thinking about some other things about a snowblower that you might be curious to know. So, Let's do it, how a snowblower works. So here's some obvious things we already know, right? We have the auger in the front. There's an impeller. This is a gear. We know this stuff. So we know it picks up the snow, shoves it into this thing that makes it go really fast, and then, you know, comes out the chute, right? But at the same time, these wheels can move forward or backwards. How does that work? We know the engine has some type of shaft here and underneath this cowling is a belt, right? So the shaft, the belt works this impeller deal and that shoots it out through here. How do the wheels work? When all of that is going on, the wheels can go forward or backwards. What kind of crazy gadgetry is going on underneath the hood of this machine? So on the back of this snowblower, there is a plate right here. We're gonna lift it up and unbolt this part right here and reveal the magic. How am I gonna hold this up in the air? If I go all the way forward, all the gas is gonna leak out of the engine. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, I got it up in the air. Let's take off this part too. So there you go, there's the engine. So here's the engine and there's a shaft that comes out and it looks like, you know, this has a pulley on it and this has a pulley on it. So let me just tell you this right now. We're on the ground on a blanket, got a blanket. I, uh, I don't know what I'm getting into. I've never opened up the bottom of a snowblower before, but I'm just curious. So let's do this. And if you have this same snowblower, you don't have to do it to yours because I'm doing it to mine. So from the looks of it, there's two discs. Here's one here that has a belt on it. And here's one here that has a belt on it. And those are hooked up to the engine. Remember I showed you that before? Let's go back to the front and I'll show you. Over here, here's the engine. Here's that first pulley. Here's the second pulley in the belt. This goes to that red one in front. And this one goes to that silver one in the back. You've got this one, this one, and then this disc with a rubber thing around it that is hitting this silver disc that's attached to this gear, which is attached to the wheel. Who thinks of this stuff? This is nuts. I should look that up. Let's look up who invented the snowblower. Who invented the snow blower. Well, it looks like it was Arthur Sicard. He worked on his device for over 30 years. In 1925, he completed his first machine and called it something French or the Sicard Snow Remover Snow Blower. All right, now we know, so let's get back to work. So this has something to do with the gearbox. This wheel right here, and this is attached to uh, this stuff which comes out here, right? Goes up here and is attached to the shifter. So this shifter moves back and forth, moving this. And if we go down here, it moves that and moves this thing back and forth. See? Here is reverse on that side of the wheel, and here's fifth gear. This is fifth gear way out here, so 
five, four, three, two, one. And then this is reverse. So this has something to do with how this wheel spins. So I'm gonna guess um, the wheel spins either this way or that way. I don't know. We're gonna start it up here in a little bit and see how this thing works. So here's the control to pull down when you're out in the snow and you're snow blowing, you pull this down to engage the wheels, right? That's hooked up to a cable, which goes down to here. Here's the cable. And then it goes down to here and it pulls that plate in and the plate pushes on to this, it has a rubber thing on it, it which just hooks up to the, you know, the gears and it uh, makes the wheel move. So what about this one over here? This is to engage the auger and the impeller. What this does, the cable goes down right here, shoots all the way around over here and it pulls in. Let's go to the other side. I'll show you. So does that, pulls it in and tightens the belt so everything spins. Pretty neat. Okay, let's start this thing up here. Got that on. I wonder if it'll start when it's crooked. Well, we'll find out, won't we? So it looks like that inner one is always spinning. Looks like the belt is always tight on that one. Let's go back around here. The silver disc is always spinning. Man, that thing's moving along, huh? Okay, let's lift it up and we're gonna put it in gear, make that rubber thing attached to the wheel. Let's shift it now. There's fourth gear, fifth gear, here's fifth gear. There's third gear. And let's go to reverse. See, so it goes to the other side of the disc and the wheels go backwards. Put it in third gear. Put it back on the wheel. Let's do the um, auger now. So now we pull this lever down, it'll tighten the belt, move the wheel, and start the auger moving. And if we let go of the handle, it releases the belt, stops the wheel, and the auger stops. <laughs> and there you go, that's how a snowblower works. I learned right along with you. So hey, if this was informative, if it helped you out in any way, please click the like button below and subscribe to my site and we'll see you later. And we'll wait for snow. Not yet.